We are the beautiful nation of Wales. After years of occupation under the English crown, we have finally broke away. But unfortunately, many other countries did not. Like Northern Ireland was instead released as a puppet to protect it from the Irish. And Canada, which was given back most of its territory from Britain and India and etc, etc. This changes the face of the earth as thousands of new little, as quite a lot of new countries have began. But as Wales, we need to just have one priority. We want to reunite the Celts, or more exactly, we want to take over all of England. We want to regain all of our gains, but with the English looking upon to reform Britain, that will be hard. So we may need to get some help from the Axes. But before that, we begin to focus on our indestructible effort, as well as also getting new troops. We also need to try and get a bunch of infrastructure so then we can quickly redo then we can quickly do stuff but immediately we also need to know what we need to try and find as well as radars which begin which can easily help us to care the English Air Force as well as railways to make sure everything is good. We can also begin an immediate blockade of all English things to the Isle of Man. We could also get the help of our good old friend Ireland. But we will not stay fascist for long. We will probably break away and form a new country. One much more better well than this. But we know that the Allies may look to circle and destroy us, the Welsh. But we will not worry. With the begin with Warren Jero Joes on our side in a completely democratic democratic nation surely the fascists could not take over we could even to ask the english for help but currently maybe we shouldn't but the thing is you never know we could go far with this the next democratic elections coming in 1940 we cannot wait we can for that long for some change for goodness sake we must get our indestructible effort good so then our industry will become big and outlast our opponents But we could, but with the, we could begin the partal mobilization soon. But unfortunately, after we hear the news of Italy annexing most of most gains in Africa, we begin to worry on if the axes are just a bit too power hungry. But not to worry, Egypt will be perfect for us. If we can somehow conquer the entirely of the Arabian Peninsula, we will get more oil to fuel our everlasting conquests. And then we could release the nations as puppets, make a faction, we could make multiple factions. But I think we may want to keep our faction by by puppeting all of our old Celtic brothers, a, meaning Scotland, Ireland, Northern Ireland, and Brittany.
but Britney may not become a thing. More importantly, Cornwall. But unfortunately, Cornwall might just have to get adapted into our empire. With us trying to now think very, very thinky, we now need to, after finishing our effort, we could begin our mobilization. Or, because of our effort, we can just cancel all things in this and replace it for forts. These forts will be built across the English border. And everywhere. So then forts could begin. And with this fort, with the slow making of forts, we can. It could easily begin our major major mobilization with this mobilization we could easily take on England but England on its own we will not be able to fight with its with allies such as France we will have to rely on our allies like Italy and Germany to try and take over France but with the remilitarization of the Rhineland we begin to get a bit scared but our leader assures us that Ge that war with Germany would be inevitable well it would basically never happen he said it would be inevitable but you never know if we keep our democratic roots and help the English, this could cause in a full-blown war. And we just can't afford getting annexed by the Germans. Or worse, puppeted. Or worse, completely annexed and then forced under multiple occupation. So really, we're just trying to fight. But we instead think of an idea. If we could get a political advisor, we could, of a fascist nation, this could allow us to begin our rise to fascism. It could. We could easily get rid of Roy Jones, whose major policies, such as for some reason, with coal mining, have angered the coal miners and will probably and could cause into a communist takeover but as we are but we do not want to take over countries we in, we do not want this man in charge with major policies such as forcing us to have embargoed with an import focus of only having exports we and instead of free trade he has harsh policies and taxes have pretty much led to almost everyone wanting to at least get rid of him but his election can re-election campaign may fail short but we need to try and think more with the re beginning of the radio and the beginning of the absolute destruction of communism in our nation, fascism could be next. But not if the people have to say for it. But with the major different countries, we could easily begin a non-aggression pact problem is England doesn't want anything with us neither does Scotland or Ireland so our only hopes is to begin our Celtic Empire with probably with probably a land invasion of England
with the help of the axes of course but after that we could easily just annex all of England and probably take a few old and probably maybe take a bit of Canada if we wanted to including Vancouver Island and many other islands which would give us a major advantage as well as also the Falklands which would just get us closer to our old Argentinian colony of Patagonia and then we could begin an invasion of the Malgues and Santiago and then we can begin our South American dominance with the invasion of Uruguay and Paraguay. So we have some big plans. But with all of this we can't... The people need to try and think of, of things to do. It has been chosen that we want to have our own... That we want a fascist route. And communism will not work as the current miners which are going pretty much insane currently could not but with the beginning of our land forts appearing and coastal it could begin anywhere and supply hubs and the beginning of even more supply hubs being built in wales to begin just more welsh right lines we could begin you could easily just sanction England by stopping all by the site by pretty much taking all of these ports it's just a bad but a plan that we might need to help is Douglas but we think if we can take enough of England then they will surrender and before and before we li win this could the beginning of fascism in our little country could begin with this beginning we begin our armament re beginning this will allow more people to join the Welsh army and also will cause and also could make us have better ideas with less with the less people of manpower and the beginning of more naval bases fort started to appear a ton this could definitely be allow us to easily stop any English oppression <laughs> but with this weapons and equipment we also begin the truck which allows us to take more territory quicker The things that we want is just all of England because if we were to try to invade them on our own we would immediately get bashed we would but as we wait for fascism to slowly rise and the beginning of a civil war and beginning to try and begin our political discourse to allow major viewpoints in the government and maybe allow a peaceful change other than a complete civil war which wouldn't really happen but with the slow rise of fascism this could be inevitable I think I might end this episode here, probably, and so, well, see ya, you're awesome, 
and hope you enjoy this new series.